Alabama's season has suddenly taken a turn. Colin Sexton remains ineligible, and the team's leading returning scorer is out indefinitely with a knee injury. Matt, what's the latest with Sexton getting on the court soon, if at all, this season? That is the big question, if at all, because though Sexton is indefinitely ineligible right now, there is a real possibility he never plays for the Crimson Tide. What Alabama has to determine is if Sexton or anyone connected to Sexton took any type of money in order to play for Alabama, if that was part of the terms of his commitment. The FBI's formal complaint alleges that a representative from Alabama arranged a meeting with Rashawn Michelle, who was charged in the FBI case, and the father of a highly ranked recruit out of Georgia. Well, Alabama has a really good freshman class, but the only recruit from Georgia in that class is Sexton. So the question becomes, was that the only element there? And if it is, you could say Sexton didn't know, and then he's going to be clear. But if not, there is the possibility he will not play for Alabama at all. Matt, Alabama is ranked in the top 25 and one here at CBS Sports. Without Sexton, can this team make the NCAA tournament? If it's just not Sexton, yeah, I think they still have a chance, but I don't want to understate this. Sexton is the best player and the best talent they have. And now Braxton Key, you mentioned, top returning scorer, he's out right now. He had a meniscus tear in his knee. He's going to be out at least four weeks. Who knows how long that's going to be? Avery Johnson, Alabama's coach, did not offer a firm timeline. Those are Alabama's two best players. Without them, real chance that Alabama doesn't get back to the NCAA tournament. And this is a program that's been dying to get back into relevance, not just nationally, but within the SEC. These are critical, critical news elements here we wait and see on sexton with key tide fans are hoping he's back by mid-december well the pressure is certainly on for alabama matt thank you so much for joining us today and for more updates on this story and all things college basketball keep it locked right here on cbs sports